Shader Effects is a node-based editor for creating game shaders and effect shaders inside of Maya. Instead of the need to spend hours writing code by hand, Shader Effects employs an intuitive click and drag workflow. Shader Effects offers game and real time 3D artists the ability to build advanced HLSL, GLSL, and CG Effects viewport shaders with the Shader Effects real time visual shader editor. You can then visualize the shader network, even those with animated values, in real time in Viewport 2.0 shaded viewports. In this lesson, you will learn to set up a shader effects network that modifies the UV tiling of a texture map. Start with creating a simple polygon plane in the viewport. From the polygon shelf, click Plane, and click and drag a plane out into the viewport. Right-click the object in your scene, and select Assign New Material from the Marking menu. Select the Shader Effects shader from the Assign New Material window. If Shader Effects is not available, be sure to load the plugin prior to assigning a new material. Before moving on, make sure the Viewport Renderer is set to Viewport 2.0, and the Textured option is checked in the Viewport Toolbar. In the Attribute Editor, Shader Effects 1 tab, click Open Shader Effects to open the Shader Effects Editor window. Three nodes are created automatically. Color, Traditional Game Surface Shader, and Material. You can disconnect the Color node. It's not needed for the following workflow. Do this by selecting the link and pressing Delete. Then, select the Color Shader node and press Delete to remove it from the workspace. You will create a texture and link up a UV set node to change the tiling. In the Shader Effects window, right click and select Hardware Shader Nodes, Textures, Texture Map to create a texture. Make sure the Texture Map node is selected. In the Attribute Editor, click the Browse button to the right of My Texture Path. Navigate to the Textures folder and choose Neurally Opacity.bmp and click Open. Right click in the Shader Effects workspace and select Hardware Shader Nodes Math Multiply to create a Mull Op node. Now click and drag a UV Set node into the work area from the Node Browser under the Inputs Common heading. Again, Right click and select Hardware Shader Nodes Values Float to create a float node. Connect the UV attribute of the UV Set node to the first value attribute of the Mull Op node. Drag from the UV output of the UV Set node to the first value input of the Mull Op node. Connect the float attribute of the float node to the second value attribute of the Mull Op node. Again, click and drag to connect the nodes. Next, connect the result attribute of the mull op to the UV attribute of the texture map node. Lastly, connect the color attributes of the texture map to the diffuse color attribute of the traditional game surface shader. Click the float node to activate it. The float node enables you to control the tiling amount of the texture map. For example, in the Attribute Editor, if the value is set at 1, the resulting texture is tiled at 1 iteration. Set the value to 20, and the result is 20 iterations of the texture. This is a simple example of how shader effects can be used to generate textures for games and other real-time applications right within the Maya interface.